and so it begins. Phil Murphy is sworn in as New Jersey's 56th governor, and he's already off to a great start. Before he was even sworn in, the several hundred million dollar man rode New Jersey Transit and talked to commuters on the train about the problems with the system. Now, he was immediately criticized for not taking the train during the week when it's overcrowded and there are major delays. Give me a break. Have you ever seen this guy on a Jersey Transit train? If Chris Christie, as governor, has ever ridden on one of the trains and talked to commuters, I couldn't find it. I don't remember it. And what's worse is that not one of Chris Christie's New Jersey Transit Board of Governors is a regular commuter, takes the trains. That's the first thing I hope Phil Murphy does as governor. Get rid of the Jersey Transit Board, all of them. They have failed. And so what if this was a stunt? It was a good one. He rode a Jersey Transit train. He rubbed elbows with commuters. And the baggage he left behind at the Linden train station where he got on is any fear that he might be an out-of-touch rich guy, like a former governor who also worked at Goldman Sachs. Man, we really have had trouble electing good governors in New Jersey. There was Corzine who raised tolls and taxes and then was defeated when he ran for re-election. Before him was Jim McGreevy, who resigned in scandal. And after him, Chris Christie, who leaves office with the lowest approval ratings in state history. So there is great hope for Governor Murphy, but the honeymoon is going to end before it starts because the state is in crisis. As I mentioned, New Jersey Transit is poorly managed and underperforming. The roads and bridges are in dire need of repair, and there's not enough money for that. The pension fund is underfunded by the tune of $50 billion. The school funding formula is so outdated that poor districts are underfunded. Oh, and did I mention that we also have a budget crisis? We have a deficit, a structural deficit, of about $2 billion a year, and it's been that way for 30 years. Look, I know a lot of people say that Phil Murphy bought this election, but even with all his money, he can't buy his way out of this mess. He counted on raising revenue by increasing the taxes on the people in the state, making over a million dollars, but that's now on hold. Senate President Steve Sweeney says he wants to study the impact on the state after the Trump tax cut. Sweeney is afraid that that double whammy will chase millionaires out of the state along with their tax revenue. Murphy also counted on legalizing recreational marijuana. That would bring in a lot of tax revenue too, but that's also on hold. New Assembly Speaker Craig Coughlin wants to study the impact on New Jersey, especially when it comes to health and safety. Now, there is a possibility that the U.S. Supreme Court will allow legalized sports betting in New Jersey that could bring in an estimated $1 billion in tax revenue, but even that's not a sure thing. Now, the honeymoon is going to be a short one, and Phil Murphy is going to have to deal with something he hasn't had to deal with in his life, money troubles. Oh, there is one thing he could do. He could go to the federal government for help. After all, Donald Trump spends a lot of time in the state. We will resist every move from President Trump and a misguided congressional leadership. All right, well, I guess we can cross that off the list. Man, we really are running out of options. Phil Murphy, are you sure you really want this job? Hey, but he, he did do the Jersey Transit thing. Remember that? Everybody told you about that? That was good, right? Right? Oh, man, we really are in trouble. But look at it this way. At least we have a fresh face, fresh ideas, and a fresh direction, which brings new hope. And sometimes, when things are at their bleakest, hope is enough. Good luck, Governor. I'm Larry Menti. See you again next week. May God bless you all, and may God continue to bless the great state of New Jersey and the United States of America.